Yes, yes, welcome back to the channel, producer friends. This video is gonna be all about achieving beautiful textures with a simple MIDI keyboard and a free plugin from Ableton. Now, I'm not sure if this will actually work on standard or not, but uh, I will go ahead and put, you know, somewhere around here if it actually does or not. And you can see here that the MIDI keyboard I'm using is the Keystation 49ES. But we're actually not interested in any of the black or the white keys. We're actually just going to be using this little mod wheel over here uh, and this uh, little fader. Uh, I'll show you kind of how we're gonna do that in a second. But first, if you wanna support the channel, obviously like and subscribe, but if you want to get a little bit of extra every week, you can go ahead to my Patreon, patreon.com slash when you know. Any of the textures I'm making in this video will be available for download over there. Okay, so let's get Ableton loaded up. I'll flip the camera around so you guys can actually see my keyboard and I'll walk you through this technique. All right, so here we are in Ableton and the plugin that we're going to be using today is Granulator 2 right here by Mono Lake. Uh, this is available for free download on Ableton's website. It is a Max for Live device, so you will need Suite. But if you do have Suite, I'm telling you, this thing is so, so worth it. I have hours of fun with this thing. Uh, and I'm no by no means an expert on it. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive into uh, to the technique today, though. So where we have our little source piece of audio here, and this is just my uh, best friend Matt playing guitar. He's an insane guitar player. Go follow his channel. Link will be in the description. Uh, but it's just him riffing around a little bit. So let's take a listen. We were just hanging out one day and I basically just asked him to play something real fast, real fast for me. So what we're going to do is hop over to our granulator and we can go ahead and drop it straight in. And if you don't know what a granulator does, essentially it's going to take out small parts of this long waveform uh, and repeat them over and over again. And you can change the file position uh, and that will obviously change the section that is repeated over and over again. You can also change the size of the section that's repeated over and over again, and that is called the grain size. Um, but here, let me just hold down a note on the MIDI keyboard. So if I play C3, it'll play back at the exact same pitch. We can go ahead and move the file position around. And already, I mean, that's just sounding great. I mean, of course it was the, you know, the chords and the playing from Matt, but, uh, you know, taking any kind of piece of audio like this and moving it around just, it gives such a, a an awesome feeling. The other thing that we will do real fast is turn on spray. So this will actually randomize the uh, file position just a little bit back and forth uh, a few milliseconds or however many milliseconds you set it for. And I like to have that on just a little bit just to make it uh, a little bit more organic sounding, I guess. All right, so before we actually start using the mod wheel for this, we're going to just throw on um, some reverb. I have this little Native Instruments reverb that I like. And let's go ahead and grab like a large hall. Something. Let's go Atmosphere. That sounds good. And bring it up quite a bit and bring up the size as well, I'm thinking. And a little bit more highs. And you know what, while we're at it, let's go ahead and add a little bit of echo. And bring the dry wet of the echo down just a little bit. Cool. All right, so now that we have some simple processing on there, let's go ahead and dive into how we're actually going to be able to play this granulator. Um, so essentially what we're going to do is I hit this MIDI button up here. Now it is actively listening for any MIDI coming in. So if we touch our file position knob here and then we touch our mod wheel, it is now routed. Uh, min and max could stay the same for now. And we're also going to change the grain size. So hit the grain size, hit our little slider here. And this we will actually change because 150 Hertz is way too high. Let's go ahead and bring that down somewhere closer to five. Bring the minimum up to around one. And now essentially all we have to do is hold down, uh, you know, some notes over here and play with the mod wheel and that will cycle through our waveform. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and play some octaves over here. Uh
So I think the most efficient workflow for this would be to create another audio channel and go ahead and have it listen to the granulator here. We'll go ahead and mute this. Press control so we can actually record arm both of the tracks. Hit record and let's go. So there you have it, a really simple way to make beautiful textures. I love this technique. I've been using uh, this technique with all kinds of sound sources, throwing random things in there, orchestra samples, percussion samples, trying to just basically see what I can come up with. And if you don't have Ableton Suite, I would still definitely look around for other free granulator plugins. Uh, I'll do some searching and if I find anything, I'll throw the link in the description. And like I said before, if you wanna support the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, follow me on Patreon, but I will see you guys in the next one.